hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl jasmine today i'll show you a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to make a wig so if you're a beginner you would want to stick around to the end i'll be using three bundles of human hair you can use synthetic or any brand of human hair depending on what you can afford or what you like to begin you need a closure i decided to ventilate my closure which is really time consuming if you don't have time you can go ahead to buy the closure along with your human hair if you don't know how to ventilate i'll be dropping a detailed video on it soon so if you're interested make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss out when i drop the video you're gonna need a dome cap and of course a mannequin head because we're gonna be sewing our human hair onto the dome cap Firstly, you need to pin the cap onto the mannequin. This will hold it in place when you start sewing the hair and make your work easier. Then you need to pin the closure to the front part of the dome cap. For that, I'll be using smaller pins. I'll also need to sew the closure onto the cap. But before then, I'll pack the hair using ribbon so it will not get in the way when I start sewing. Now that we are done sewing the closure, it's time to start sewing the hair. You need to start sewing from the base of the cap and we are going to be doubling the hair bundles to make it appear fuller. Start by sewing the end of your hair bundle to the base of your cap while making sure you pull tight so it will be firm. So till you reach the other end of the cap and then flip the hair bundle over to continue sewing at a higher point. You need to repeat the same thing when you get to the other end of the cap and that is how you will keep going until we get to the area around the closure. Your sewing thread may finish along the line, just make sure you always knot the last thread and cut out the excess before you continue sewing with another. This will prevent loose ends for your wig. You realize that the hair has formed the round shape that looks like the closure. Now that we've reached the closure, you would want to make sure you sew the hair very close to the closure. 
Make sure not to sew it on top of the closure. Once you get to the end of the cap, make sure to not the thread, then cut out the excess hair. Now that we are done sewing the hair onto the dumb cap, we can take it off the mannequin. After that, I'll cut off the part of the dumb cap directly beneath the closure. This will reflect the true color of the closure and give it a natural feel. You can see that the hair does not look straight at the moment, so I'll be using my hair stretcher to straighten it. But first, I'll be applying heat protection spray so as not to damage the hair strands. Now, I'll go ahead and stretch. Now that we're done stretching, it's time to try the wig on my head. But first, I will need to cut out the excess net on the closure. I'll go ahead and wear the wig. So guys, this is how it turned out. I love it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share with your family and friends that might be interested. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to gain access to free tutorial videos like this and turn on notifications so that you will be the first to know when I have a new video. Thanks for watching. See you in another one.